Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with this constructive chapter on practical geometry. In this chapter we will learn how to construct a quadrilateral. We know that we require three measurements to draw a unique triangle. These measurements can be either side 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 or side angle side or angle side angle and so on. But we require five measurements to draw a unique quadrilateral. That means it can be drawn when four sides and one diagonal are given or when two diagonals and three sides are given, when two adjacent sides and three angles are given or when three sides and two included angles are given or when other special properties are known. We shall use a compass fitted with a pencil and a ruler for construction of our quadrilaterals. We shall frequently use the word mark an arc. That would mean if we have a line segment AB and we are required to mark an arc with BS center, we would keep the pointed end of our compass at the point B and mark an arc. Similarly, to mark an arc with AS center would mean to keep the pointed end of the compass on the point A and mark an arc. We shall also use mark an arc with AS center and 4 cm as radius. That would mean that using a ruler, first open your compass to 4 cm radius so that the distance between the pointed end and the point of the pencil is 4 cm and then keep it at point A and mark an arc. Let us start with construction of a quadrilateral when four sides and one diagonal are given. Let us read the question and side by side keep sketching a rough figure. The question reads that construct a quadrilateral PQRS. So we sketch a rough figure of a quadrilateral PQRS. Next it reads where PQ is equal to 4 centimeters. So let us mark it. QR is equal to 6 centimeters. RS is equal to 5 centimeters. And PS is equal to 5.5 centimeters. And PR is equal to 7 centimeters. We join PR and it is given to be 7 centimeters. Looking at this rough figure, it is easy for us to judge that if we draw line PR, then we can construct a triangle PQR since all the three sides are given. Similarly, we can construct a triangle PSR and finally our output will be PQRS. So let us do so using a ruler 
draw a line segment of length 7 cm with B as center and 4 cm as radius mark an arc with R as center and 6 cm as radius mark an arc intersecting the previous arc at Q join PQ and RQ we have PQ equal to 4 cm and RQ equal to 6 cm similarly with PS center and 5.5 cm as radius mark an arc on opposite side of Q now with RS center and 5 cm as radius mark an arc such that it intersects the other arc at S now join PS and RS we will have PS equal to 5.5 cm and RS equal to 5 cm and hence PQRS is the required quadrilateral.